Oh, looking amazing. Hi. What's uh? Give me some tea. Give me, give me some gossip. Well, first of all, I was gonna go to James Charles' funeral. I don't know if you know who James Charles is. Apparently, I don't. Well, it's a. He was the top beauty uh, person in the community, but apparently, he made a big mistake. And now, Jeffree Star is king of the beauty community again. Uh, apparently, James Charles dished uh, Tati Westwood. You know, I don't know who Tati Westwood is? Another person in the beauty community. We actually mentored James Charles from nothing to 16 million followers on YouTube. Without Tati Westwood, James Charles was apparently nobody. A couple of months ago, when the Coachella party was going on, James Charles reached to Sugar Bear Pills, the competitor of Tati Westwood Halo uh, Pills for Beauty and Going to Sleep, uh -huh. and he actually betrayed his mentor because of security at Coachella. He claimed that he won so much money with his brand, the sister's brand, and why can you not pay for your own security at Coachella that you gotta call Nikita Dragon another beauty in the trans community and, and ask for, I'm getting attacked in Coachella. Please send some security. With all the money that you got, why couldn't you get your own security in Coachella and build up? You betrayed your friend. And in three days, you lost three million followers on YouTube and you're being canceled. So let me tell you, there's a lot of accusation of him being a predator, trying to convince straight men to become bisexual or gay but i don't want to get into that because that's not my business but what i'm saying is if you have a good friend in life that mentor you and made you the star that well, you wear because you're not there anymore please be respectful for that you know and i was going to attend your funeral but apparently nikita dragon came to your rescue girl came to your rescue because she pulled out some receipts on the internet showing the text between sugar bear her and James Charles at Coachella. But apparently, it didn't work. So I just got another call that the funeral, it's still going on. So I'm going over there. <laughs> you still going to the funeral? I'm going to the funeral because James Charles, it's canceled. Well, you and look good for the funeral. Let's talk about something else. Do you see my new teeth? Oh, okay. I did not mm, notice look. your new teeth. They, they look There was early. a story yesterday at the Daily Mail. Okay. Thanks to my beautiful dentist, Dr. Kims. I didn't smile Ryan for many, many years because okay. I was, you know, feeling intimidated about my teeth. Hmm. But finally, I can give you a great smile Boom. and smile at James Charles. Well, you fucked up and now you're paying the consequences. If people want to contact you about like, you know, beauty tips, where, where, where can they go to? They can go to my platforms, um, thequeenofhollywood.com, Plastics of Hollywood on the internet, our Instagram, or Marcella Iglesias Hollywood. Boom, let's show those pearly, pearly brights again. Look at that, look at that. Thanks, Marcella. Phoebe, very chronomatic today. Well, thank you. This is my Sony Couture. Okay. So, had it in my closet a while. I haven't worn it. It has all like these beads, so. Oh. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Give me some tea, give some gospel on this Friday. Well, you know, we keep hearing other states are adapting the same policies as Alabama. My Alabama. And you know, I do think abortion should be illegal in certain circumstances, and it shouldn't be for rape and incest. I think that it should be legal, especially for these two things. Now, it also came out in the news that one of the counselors found out that Lori Lotlin and her family were uh, falsifying documents about being on a rowing team and they were called into the counselor's office and the counselor was like, what is going on? And they, they said that Maximo got so outraged and was cussing everybody out. Now, the daughters definitely knew. I mean, now it shows the evidence that, and they have it documented where people saw the scam happening the year before the other daughter got into the college. So I think the daughters are just as guilty. I think they should serve time. I think they totally knew about it. They're trying to 
now try to disassociate themselves with their parents because I'm sure PR and a lot of people were like, this is what you should do uh, in order to make you not look so guilty. So I think all of this is a cover up. I think she's going to definitely do time. Even Harvey Levin came out and said that she would not do time. Well, I bet she will because especially if Felicity Huffman got the time, it's going to get four months. And I mean, her crime isn't even one fourth of what Maximo and Lori's is. So I think they're all going to jail. They're all guilty and lock the daughters up also. What do you think of uh, Chantel uh, Star, Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star, like losing and potentially lying to fans? Was it Jeffree Star or somebody else? Maybe it was somebody lost, else. Like, no, uh, you know, I briefly heard about this. But I meant, look at the world that they live in. Most of Hollywood lies. I meant, when you've been around as long as I have, uh -huh. I meant, I know girls that have said that they are on Baywatch. This um, Alicia has went and said that she's on Baywatch. She gets photographers to post that Alicia Arden, that they get her to, they post that she has been on Baywatch, and the media just picks it up, and it's all falsified. James so, Charles, that's his name, James Charles. So I see where all this lying, because let me tell you, nobody actually goes in and looks at the documents. When you've known somebody for 15 years, and you've known they've only been an extra, and their main role was on Hoarders, and then they sell her in magazines, like as Baywatch, because a photographer named Dave Edwards post her as that. I mean, I think it's all BS. It's all lies. And eventually the truth is going to come out. So is that what you uh, would give him advice for James Charles to tell the truth? Yes, because let me tell you, nowadays you can verify things. I mean, if you were a backstabbing bitch, I meant, trust me, I have gone through hundreds that just try to get with me because they think, oh my God, if they saw me, you know, because Phoebe's in magazines, I'll be in them. It's not that easy. And now, after 10 years, I am doing, like I've been on E for the last three years, doing comedy on Botched. And now I'm doing the country singer and killer selfie and I'm shooting still shooting the country singer so go on IMDB Richard Greco is the director and he is very legit has a long career even started on St. Elmo's Fire with Johnny Depp so you know everybody's gonna find out eventually there's like uh, some thoughts of like him actually trying to trick straight boys you know to come in a room with him you know, this isn't the, I have a lot of gay friends. Because let me tell you, sometimes, like that Jax Taylor, I mean, he goes both ways. Uh-huh. So, I mean, a lot of Hollywood, I mean, they may be straight one day, but they, a lot of people in Hollywood don't consider it gay or anything if they do it a couple of times in the bond hole. In the what the hole? The bong hole. All right, thanks. Oh, I think we're gonna leave it. Say one thing <laughs> yeah. Tonight. Today has been one of the saddest days of my life. My hairdresser of 15 years called me this morning, and his partner of like 40 years, they grew up together, was lying there dead and died this morning of a heart attack. Oh no! And he was attacked by the husband of uh, Beauty and the Beast. They I, were I in an event means. at okay. the Cancer Association uh -huh. in Palm Springs, and he was attacked. Whoa. And now by the husband of the girl that always did Beauty and the Beast, the Whoa. singer. Okay. And a month and a half, he wakes up dead in the bed. So, and he was a VP of Macy's at one time. So my heart goes out to Scott and Roy. My heart's broken, and I'm going to have to leave for Palm Springs soon, mm. but just say a prayer because you, know, you never know about this life and how short it is. And 
people should just tell the truth and be honest and be happy with their lives. Vote VP of 2020. Thanks, and Phoebe. Kanye. And Kanye. And a popsicle. And a popsicle. Thanks, Phoebe. Good stuff. What's going on, guys? It's Ryan Fu. If you guys enjoyed that video, please smash that like button and also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can be up to date with all our videos. So once again, smash that like button and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and check you guys out later and keep on shocking them, bros.